I reach the skies that tell no lies. The earth that cries for change that can't be televised. We polarized and synthesized by stimuli. My heart is wide, though parts have died. I can't deny, I realize. One of the greatest lyricists ever named Rakim. He said, rap is rhythm and poetry. And it is. And I find a connection in the stream of consciousness that you get from rap and also in poetry. I've been still, but still alive. You're basically being rhythmic with poetry. Justice ill advised. Your grace and will is still alive. Magnificence, beneficence. It's it, uh, you gift it up. It's hard to trust in you because. Today is like a day where I get to write. And that is like, I, in my life, I haven't had that in a long time where I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna sit down and work on music. And honestly, some of the times I'm coming up with things that I even won't even use, but it's the joy of the writing. Obviously, I'm working with the goal in mind to, to create the song and work on the song and finish a, a verse. This is one of my favorite times to, you know, I do my morning prayer and, and I come down here, I just turn on the music and start writing while I'm taking my vitamins and stuff. I love reading and I love um, words. So like what Morgan Parker will do with her words is like amazing. She's doing a poem at the, uh, at the end of the first album, and then she, I'm asking, asking her to write something for this album. She actually gave me this one when we were in the studio, so I was, I mean, I've read poems over and over, like I would say, not a lot, about seven times, eight times. It's not every day that I, I might only do it, I might go to it and read a couple of lines and then just be like, oh, get, get inspired. Like. I've been writing from a perspective where sometimes I'll start getting like rhythms. Usually I just word, word, words, words. The words lead the way, and that, and it's still mostly it's mostly that. But sometimes I'll find a pattern or something, and I'm like, oh, I got to put some words in that pattern. Lately, I've been staying here at home and just writing. It's been fun, like, um, and and it's some of it has been like, okay, I got this rhythm, I'm, and I'm gonna put these words into this rhythm, and then I'll go from there. My neighbors be, <laughs> cause I used to be gone so much that they never was like hearing me here, like, and I never was doing this. Like, I would always go right in the car. And now it's mornings. I'm literally up in the morning, like, but it ain't that loud. But it, <laughs> like, different things on, on my bottle, but I really write stuff on their bottles. It's, it's funny, you know. Young, gifted, and blessed. Talented. Hey, what up? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Yo, I travel through. I travel through time and space. Yo. I've been feeling within my writing and creativity a clarity that I, that I haven't had. And that's due to my health, like taking care of myself even more. You know, I already was like eating certain ways, but to be able to get rest and to kind of have a, a routine has been great for me. It's actually, truly, I like been in the studio, like, man, I feel more clear, more powerful. Like, 
I don't know. I'm just like hearing things in, in newer ways, better ways. So, you know, gotta gotta stay in the health regardless. We've been through so yeah. much <laughs> ups and downs, battle raps, yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> so Lauren is someone that I work with, but is really like a sister, friend, uh, um, someone I learned from. She been part of this creative process and like point blank, this, it's a song called Set It Free, where I came to Lauren and was like, Lauren, what's some things that you've experienced or you think that women have experienced, you know, when they like giving themselves to somebody instead of giving love to themselves. And she kind of broke it down in a clear way because Lauren could be, you know, you know, like that. And she could be very grounded in, I'm like this. So she could be like that. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Like, I love that. One line she gave me on this song was that I that ended up in the song. She's like, you got a woman got to lo love herself the way she want a man to. So I say, um, I say, uh, precious is the presence. You can feel the essence, the iridescence of your light. No question, destined to be a blessing to somebody. Even if he cannot see the lock key for you to set it free. No man can take from you what's heavenly. Just be you and you'll forever be. Your beauty tells stories like ebony. It comes from the inside. Truthfully, a place where some men hide. In your eyes, I can see that you're inspired to find your way to love so you can live by it. And if you love you the way you want a man to, the right one to come that'll enhance you and you can dance to love's melody. It sounds so good when you set it free. Uh, uh, you finally <laughs> You know, for me, I'm grateful to be a part of it. I'm grateful to have him as a brother, have him in my life, and anything that I can contribute, I'm happy to because what happens is that he's touching the world. And so we, we are very clear about our purpose here on the planet and that we're here to raise the consciousness awareness of humanity in ways that are fun and creative. You know, people think that the revolution has to be something so militant, but the revolution is canceling out the hate with happiness. You know, it's not giving the energy to the darkness, but allowing us to shine and understanding that what is the darkness without the light. So we, we come in as the light, you know, and so there's there's steps and stages and degrees in, in, to, in doing that and I'm a, I play my role and I play it well and so and then he can go out there and he does his thing you know what I mean? <laughs> and that medicine goes it, it transforms the cells of everybody listening because that's how powerful words and sounds and all of that is so I'm just I'm, I'm very clear about that and I'm just like yeah we're doing it we're doing a good job yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been really really great at making me feel like I am a part of the process which I really appreciate just being artistic myself um because often in personal assisting gigs, that's just like not even like they'll often ask you. They're like, do you have creative like dreams? And if you say yes, it's like they're like, goodbye, you know, which really sucks because it's like I think he really has shown me that he values actually that artistic side of me. He can call me and be like, which lyric do you like better? And I can be honest with him and be like, you can write better than that or, you know, you can. I don't like that line. I like that one better. You know, he likes when I'm honest so, <laughs> which is great because I'm a very honest person <laughs> That was right there. La 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 la. Yeah. Can you take that last one and uh, like repeat it. La 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 la. Prank show. We'll just pull pranks on. Yeah. I would love to do that. Yeah. Is it safe to pull pranks? No. Oh. Oh, people we know, not people we don't know. Because we, we are black. We should start. We should start. Black people can't do prank shows like everybody else. <laughs> Where we, where we know. Well, that's what's getting itself. Yeah, like trying where, to do know. prank shows that's, and then getting yeah. the cops called on you because, you know, what happened? Can't do prank shows. Yeah. Stop. When black. <laughs> Done the prank show. People really get arrested. Yeah, start with people you know. Whatever. Okay. We'll trick you. Uh, We're going to have to really not. find us. What can we. Oh. What's a good prank? I never pranked nobody in real life. I'm just trying to figure out how we do the things we do. Song when we 
move. I'm talking about like basically how as black people, black Americans, we have influence on this planet. We mean something. I, you know, in that song I said, ancestors in my dreams, they moved the wildest. They prayed about us and praised and shouted. Picture this country being brave without us. I'm saying this country was built with, with black energy too. That was we, this country was built with us. So this country wouldn't be brave without us, but also the false bravery of oppressing someone. I'm saying when we move, the world move with us. Like y'all, when we move, when we do something, it influences the world, it changes the world. So I don't know if it's really, unless you're saying you make the world stop and what, kind of stop and watch or? Yeah, like they say, it's the way we stand, and the way we, and the way we rock, or. I mean, it don't have to be rock, but it's the way we stand. got free, the world moved with us. Now they want to change their bodies, go figure. Used to call us, now they want to be niggas. That, you know, is saying, you know, obviously we see people getting a lot of work done to um, get their bodies changed and look, get thicker lips, thicker hips. You know, so many people fight to say the word nigga, <laughs> which is pretty crazy, but anyway, um, you know, it's, to me, it's just more than anything. It's just a testament. You can look at it and say, you got to look and say, when people are trying to imitate you or emulate you, you're doing something. Something is, you have something. And you have to value that. And I was wanting to say that in, in, in this song. We the rivers that flow through the jungle, yo. When we move, we make the world wonderful. So that's how I ended the verse. And um, I just, you know, just finished that one. We working on the chorus with PJ. Just to be clear, I think when we, when we celebrate blackness, it doesn't mean that we're degrading any other nationality or people. It's just us celebrating ourselves. And I think you should be able to celebrate yourself and culture. I was really shy at first, but um, Kamas, he's just like real like welcoming. Like he's just like, you know, it's like, what's yours is mine. Like the vibes are just like dope. He's always been like, just a jolly, like welcoming, like warm entity guy. Person, person, that's the word. What makes him different is the funk. Like there's a funk in his syncopation, the way he writes, the way he sits on the beat. I know that's the way for the way we move. It's just a way. I like it's like it's just a. It's just, it felt like it's funky. It reminds me of like, I mean, how funky Miles Davis or um, Dexter Gordon was. You know, syncopation-wise, it just fit right on the on the rhythms. And I feel like he has that from you know, different. He got that from the music that he's listened to and incorporated that into what he's doing. So that makes him extremely special. For a long time, I've been rhyming about community. I've been rhyming about the people. And I mean it, those words mean a lot to me. And that's what a lot of my inspiration for writing comes from being amongst people, like being connected and in the community, seeing what's going on and speaking, being a voice speaking like and letting music be that voice music was that voice for me growing up and it spoke for me about things that i felt things that i wanted to know like it was music offers so many things so i i, I chose at a certain point to be hey I'm, I'm going to be a voice for the people through my music too along with speaking some of my own personal experiences i have a microphone so this microphone has to be used for the greatest purposes. When we get together, we make the whole world stop. It's the way we move, yeah, it's the way we talk. And he's still trying to figure out why we do the things we do. But ain't no recipe, it's just the way we move. I'm walking on the set of When We Move. 
featuring Black Dog. So this is and Seyon Kuti. We are here in this beautiful space and we're filming a video. Just seeing black women and men express themselves in such a free and fun way is what we talk about when we talk about joy and black joy. Um, that's what this, this is and that's what we was just expressing. Yeah.